you know, it's vexing the state we're in, man, as a people, man. It's disgusting, man. You know, and, and you know, this is supposed to be the absolute truth when you come into the truth as Israelite. You know what I'm saying? We're just not getting the, the same results that's needed, man. You know what I'm saying? So, what we gotta do is, you know, we really gotta treat, seek, seek you out, man. And those who are non productive, we're gonna have to cut you off, man. That's all that means, man. Um, like I was saying, you know, Jeremiah 50 33, the children of Judah and Israel being oppressed together. Basically, he's talking about that in America, man. You know? So. It is vexing to see the state that we're in because, you know, Yahweh expects more from us, you know? Yahweh expects more from us, you know what I'm saying? We represent Yahweh on earth, man, basically, being his son, you know? Um, you know, and, 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 you know, we're not living up to Israel, you know what I'm saying? We're not living up to him being controlling people. But that's why only women is going to make it, man, because the majority is just going to die, man. When they go out praise the name of Yahweh, they got an Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This preach is Zohar, Adara, Tribe of Levi. Basically, I want to do this lesson on, uh, basically, uh, you know, vexation. You know what I'm saying? Um, because, you know, in this truth, you know what I'm saying, you do get vexed. You know, basically meaning you get afflicted. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, you get angry. You know what I'm saying? Uh, angry with your own. You know what I'm saying? Angry with, you know, heathens. And you take it out of your own people, you know what I'm saying? So, I just want to go over a few points with uh, certain things in Israel that's not appropriate, that needs to be addressed. Um, the first point is, you know, we have a lot of pride in, in the, uh, the nation of Israel, man. People are done with a lot of pride, you know what I'm saying? Um, Proverbs 16 and 5 tells you everyone who is proud uh, in heart is an abomination, basically, to your Howard, you know what I'm saying? So, that's not appropriate, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, Proverbs 6 and 17 says, A proud look, a lying tongue, and that shed innocent blood. You know what I'm saying? And we kind of do that, you know what I'm saying? That's why First John says, Who hated his brother in his heart? You know, he's a murderer, man. You know what I'm saying? You you kill your brother, and they expect to, to get edified, and you're attacking them, you know? Um, one of the second points is, uh, a lot of Israel feels that we can keep all 613 laws but that's not the case because all 16 and 13 laws is not for every individual. We got laws for priests, we got laws for kings, we got laws for lands, laws for animals, and etc. You know what I'm saying? So we can't keep all 613 laws because all 613 laws is not for every individual. That's something we gotta understand. So we got laws for uh, dealing with the women's uh, menstrual. Now, now, can you keep that law? No, I don't think so. Um. But uh, 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 one another thing that's real vexing is, you know what I'm saying, we have a lot of, you know, of GoFundMe accounts coming around, and a lot of I can go homeless, you know what I'm saying. The, one of the realest, you know, one of the truest laws is, is helping your, your people, you know what I'm saying, helping the poor, you know, um, loving your people, you know what I'm saying. Do not hate your brother in your heart, you know, supposed to help the poor if you have it, you know what I'm saying. The uh, Abarim or Jerome 15 11 tells us that, you know, um, says the, 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 the poor will never cease from the land, you know what I'm saying? And, and with the amount of poor we have in the nation, this is where we should be coming together the most, you know what I'm saying? But since you got these BS doctrines that you're worried about, like Flat Earth and other BS, you know what I'm saying? You don't put your people first, man. And that's disgusting, man. You know, yeah, I was shy, you know what I'm saying, who, who a lot of you say y'all believe in or whatever, or y'all followers of him. He said in, in Luke 14... 13 to 14, basically, Yahusha commanded the disciples, you know, to give to the poor. You know what I'm saying? I have that charity. You know what I'm saying? Um, another point was, uh, what did, I was saying by edification earlier, you know what I'm saying? The scripture talks about you let your tongue be of edification. You know what I'm saying? I remember, uh, you know, we, you know, people ask questions and you treat them like they're retarded. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and people act like, you know, 
They're going to get this truth in and in a, in a dime like you changed. You know what I'm saying? A lot of hypocritical stuff going on, man. Um, basically, you want to tear your people apart, you know, down. You know what I'm saying? Asking questions and wanting discord. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Proverbs 16 and 14. Perversity is in his heart. And he defies uh, evil continuously. He sows discord. You know what I'm saying? A lot of guys have evil in their heart. So they sow discord. There's, there, there's a certain guys that's, you know, when certain topics come around, that's what they'll address and to come get to court. If I speak about the 12 trap chart, there's going to be one person that's all about the 12 trap chart. He ain't going to talk about nothing else. If it's about to be, if it's, uh, you know, about uh, uh, having concubines, somebody's going to attack on that. You know what I'm saying? Anything and everything just to tear apart, you know, to come and attack for just a certain point. You're going to never come on my page for nothing else. And and that that's just complete wicked, man. You know what I'm saying? We gotta do better, man. Uh uh um and uh and uh, one last, last point is, you know, number five, Watchman's report, you know what I'm saying, about a couple months back, he baptized a Edomite devil, all right, in the water. Uh but but says basically natives and Hispanics are not Israelites, all right? Um and the thing is, there's a prophecy in Jeremiah that tells you, um, which I'm going to get in a minute, but real quick, you know, like, you can see on this thing, right, the flyer, right, we got the the bat stone of the Native Americans in Tennessee, right here. You got the, in Los Lunas, Mexico, you got the that stone and the, the Ten Commandments in Hebrew, proving the Aztecs are Israelites, which are the Mexicans, the Natives are Israelites. For the black pitted stones, you got the pyramids and, and Aztecs. You know, the Mayans did the same things. You know what I'm saying? It's all over here, man. And we got, you know, basically, Second Ezra, you know, talks about, you know, the natives and Hispanics coming over here. I don't get what guys is talking about, man. You know what I'm saying? But you hate your people, man. But but want to baptize an Edomite, a devil, man. You know, that don't make sense, man. All, all the Hispanics and natives fit the curses, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, you know, Hosea 7 and 8 says Ephraim is like a kick on turn, man. So what are we talking about, man? You know what I'm saying? Native Americans want fringes. Bad mind want fringes. Aztecs want fringes. But they're not Israelites. Get out of here, man. But, uh, you know, it's vexing the state we're in, man, as a people, man. It's disgusting, man. You know, and, and you know, this is supposed to be the absolute truth when you come into the truth as Israelite. You know what I'm saying? We're just not getting the the same results that's needed, man. You know what I'm saying? So, what we got to do is, you know, we really got to seek, seek you out, man. And those who are non-productive, we're going to have to cut you off, man. That's all that means, man. Um, but like I was saying, you know, Jeremiah 50 and 33, the children of Judah and Israel being oppressed together. Basically, he's talking about in America, man. You know? So, it is vexing to see the state that we're in because... You know, Yahweh expects more from us. You know what I'm saying? We represent Yahweh on earth, man, basically, being his son, you know. Um, you know, and, 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 you know, we're not living up to Israel, you know what I'm saying? We're not living up to him being a chosen people. But that's why only remnant is going to make it, man, because the majority is going to die, man, you know. And and, and, and and deservingly so, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a long time coming, man. But, uh. For the Akim, that's a stair. Stay encouraged, man. Stay studied up, man. Love your people. You know what I'm saying? Do it the best you can to make this thing, man. To the rest, you know what I'm saying? You, your judgment's coming soon. Are you wicked? And what's so discord? Get on every little thing. You know what I'm saying? That's that's not needed. You know what I'm saying? We have one mission, man. That's in Luke 4. Let me get that real quick. Look, uh, Luke 4, Luke 4, Luke 4. Luke 4. This is Luke 4. This is Luke 4 and 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he have appointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He have sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and recovery sight to the blind, to celebrity, to those who are oppressed. And that's our job. That's our mission. 
all right, to teach our people and resurrect the minds of the black, Hispanic, and Native American to see that they got hope and to see that they can, you know, have have a chance, you know, in this thing, man, to the kingdom, man. You know what I'm saying? But you, we got to create that council on earth, man. You know what I'm saying? It's Yahweh Shah or Yahweh waiting on us, man, to get it right, to get our duties straight, man. You know? You know, but y'all worry about some fight, you know what I'm saying? Our people flooded over there in Houston. What y'all gonna do about that, man? Y'all full of BS, man. Israel full of it, man. It's all play, play, and party time, man. Get out of here, man. But you wanna get on me for, for saying, you know, something about uh, tassels or whatever, you know? Talking about some flat earth and stuff like that. Man, you're Israel full of it, and a lot of you just deserve to be put to death, man. And when Esau come and take you out, y'all deserve it, man. Don't be wanting nothing, man. It's time to... Yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta come together. It's really no choice about it, but uh, with that show on.